Hello, and welcome to our video on leasing your property. There's a lot more to the leasing process than initially meets the eye. To help you better understand some of the less commonly understood aspects of leasing, such as screening, showing the property, and fair housing law, we have created a video that will highlight important details for you here. Communication. The leasing team will be your number one point of contact. They will create the ads, set the final price with you, and will manage all of the prospect inquiries. Their number one job is to lease the property, and the rental market moves fast. Our leasing agents are focused on those prospects. We know that vacancy costs money, and we do everything we can to minimize turnaround time. If you have a question for the leasing team because they're in and out of the office frequently and, again, focused on returning emails and phone calls of prospects, it can sometimes take a full business day for them to respond to you. Every Monday, the leasing team will email you an update on your property's performance. If no applications have been received within the first two weeks, they may recommend a price reduction depending on how other metrics are performing for the property. Advertising your property. We spend a lot of time and money getting interested prospects to view your property, and first impressions matter. In today's expensive rental market, residents expect a lot more from their rentals, and there's no such thing as, it's just a rental. And just like any other business, you're competing with other properties and need to make sure you put your best foot forward. What this means is making sure that the property is clean, free of clutter, and looking its best. Please make sure that it is rent ready for us to show. Fair housing. Fair housing is a big issue in the rental business, whether you're a landlord or a property manager or a tenant. To avoid potential lawsuits, we use a standard set of screening criteria to qualify residents we screen, and we screen them on a first come first serve basis. If an applicant meets our screening criteria, then we will approve them. Unfortunately, for liability reasons, we cannot allow you to have any input in the final selection. This is because the criteria looks at the resident's ability to pay, willingness to pay, track record for being a good resident, and to make sure that they are safe for the neighborhood. All other factors could violate fair housing laws. On occasion, we will run into an applicant that has a service or companion animal. These are not pets and are protected by the Americans with Disabilities Act and fair housing laws. Should an applicant notify us that they have an assistance animal and provide appropriate documentation, we cannot prevent them from having the animal even if the property does not allow pets. We take fair housing very seriously. If a landlord is going to be sued, there's a much greater chance it will happen during the leasing process and fines start around $10,000. Screening. We look at a variety of things when we screen an applicant. Some of the basic things include income, and when we're looking at income, we look at the gross household income, which must be equal to three times the rent. So for example, if the rent was $1,000 a month, then the gross household income requirement would be $3,000 a month. We also look at credit, both their credit score and report. We look at rental history, and we complete a full criminal background check. If the applicant passes all the criteria, they will be approved. Showing. We aggressively attempt to lease your property. We track every inbound call using Google Voice and return every single call in the order they were received. This not only ensures no one is missed, but it is a best practice for fair housing reasons. To help capture after hour applicants, all interested parties can schedule a showing on our website, directly scheduling an appointment onto our leasing team's calendar using a program called ShowMojo. This guarantees that if we are out of the office, applicants can still set appointments. For those of you who are looking to heavily reduce market time and find residents even faster, we use Rently. Rently requires applicants to verify their identity and put a credit card on file. Once set up, they can view a property on their own once given a special single-use code that expires after one hour. Sleep Sound is immediately notified when they use the code and can contact the prospect while they are on site. Brentley is used nationwide and has completed over 1 million showings without a single incident. Brentley will not be used if the property is currently occupied by you or a resident and requires your approval. 
terminology. Every industry has its terminology and we are no different. Some important things you need to know. An execution agreement is not a lease. It is a promise by a resident to sign a lease at a future date which they secure by paying a deposit. This is what we have approved applicants sign. We do not sign leases until move-in day to prevent a catastrophic problem from occurring in the event the property cannot be delivered by you on time. If we had signed a lease, we could be stuck putting them in a hotel until the problem is resolved. Companion and Service Animal A service animal has lots of special training. The companion animal is prescribed for a disability but does not have any formal training. Both are protected by law. Section 8. Section 8 is a housing program run by various counties that provide financial assistance to tenants who need help with housing. Section 8 tenants are a protected class in Oregon and cannot be denied housing on the basis of receiving that financial assistance. Sleep sound policies you should know. It is very common for residents to have to give notice to their prior landlord. In other cases, a resident may want to apply but can't move in for several weeks. For this reason, we had to establish a hold policy. We will hold a property up to 14 days maximum. After this point, any approved applicant must start paying rent. Service and companion animals. Just to recap this, we cannot prohibit service or companion animals as previously mentioned. Pet policies. Pets are entirely optional and at your full discretion. If you want to allow pets, our typical terms require that the applicant provide an additional deposit of $400 per pet and an additional $25 a month in extra pet rent per pet as well. We also have a deposit policy. We collect a minimum of one month's rent as a deposit. In some cases, we will increase the deposit to as high as two times the rent depending on the applicant's credit and rental history. Sometimes applicants have old credit problems that have lowered their score. If they demonstrate they are no longer having payment problems, we will approve them with a larger deposit to offset any additional risk. We are excited to work with you, but before we get started, we want to recap some important final items. Getting a property rent ready is not an easy task. Have a plan in place and be very thorough. We've supplied two checklists. Please carefully follow the list. Cleaning is very time intensive and needs to be white glove clean throughout. Think hotel clean. When you go to stay in a hotel, you do know that other people have stayed there before you, but it doesn't look like it. Other people don't like to see other people's dirt and neither will a prospective or new tenant. Do as much preventative maintenance as you can before renting the property. It is a lot less expensive while the property is vacant and will prevent avoidable problems from showing up later. Now that you have a better idea about the process, let's get started.